Can I be four months pregnant? Three months pregnant? Yet, that blood test in the lab shows negative. Yet, my urine test at home shows negative. Is it possible for me to have all the signs of pregnancy, but yet, this test shows negative? Am I pregnant or I'm just overthinking? Good day, everyone, and welcome back to Nurses Lecture Room. My name is Messi Mary, popularly known as a nurse with a difference. And I make learning easy and accessible for all my viewers. Today, we are going to be talking about false pregnancy. False pregnancy is also known as phantom pregnancy or pseudocysis. False pregnancy is when a person believes that they are pregnant, but yet all tests shows negative. This woman believes that she's carrying a baby, but the blood test, the ultrasound, shows that it is negative, that there is no fetus and there is no baby there. Healthcare providers believe that it is as a result, it could be as a result of some hormonal factors or psychological factor. The next question that comes to your mind is, is false pregnancy rare? Is false pregnancy common? The answer to that question is, false pregnancy is rare. There are between one to six cases in 20 beds. Before I explain the hormonal and psychological causes of false pregnancy, there are several reasons why a person might develop false pregnancy. And the first one is a strong desire to get pregnant, especially for women that have been trying for years to conceive. They have the strong desire, they really want to get pregnant. They might end up having a false pregnancy. Then the second one is infertility. Those that have been battling with infertility trying to conceive. And another is trauma. If you've had previous trauma, post-traumatic stress uh, disorder from rape, from getting pregnant or things like that, that can actually put it in your mind and make you feel that you're having a baby. Then another is multiple miscarriages, loss of a child, infertility, extreme fear of getting pregnant anxiety, depression, sexual abuse, all these are reasons why one can actually develop false pregnancy. But now, let me explain the psychological and hormonal factors that are involved. You see, the mind and body, they work together. For those that have studied psychology, the mind and body, they kind of try to work together as much as they can. So for a woman that has been trying to conceive, that has been battling with um, infertility, that has been going through depression and anxiety, this woman wants to conceive. The body is like, her body is already prepared, like, mentally to get pregnant. So the body sees that, oh, this mind is working towards pregnancy. What the body will do next is to make sure that the mind, it works together with the mind to show the signs of pregnancy. But the woman is not pregnant. Then in terms of the hormonal factor, some medical conditions such as cancer, ovarian cancer, can actually alter the hormones of the body. And when the hormones of the body are altered, these can mimic the signs of pregnancy. They are making this woman feel that she's pregnant when she is not. So like Ella said, it could be psychological and it could be hormonal. It is false pregnancy because there is no baby growing in the womb and because that test result shows negative. Now, let's talk about how this false pregnancy is being diagnosed and the treatment. In terms of diagnosis, like I've earlier said, I've repeated it over and over in this video, is actually the test. You do the urine test and you do the blood test. So when a lady or a woman or a patient comes for this test and it shows negative, they might be disappointed and they might not want to believe what you are saying. So the next step of action or the next line of action, what to do is to actually do an ultrasound to prove to this lady that there is no baby growing in the womb. And for a woman trying to conceive, this is not a good news. 
So the next line of action is the treatment. At this point, you've told the woman what is happening and what is ongoing in her body. Then the next thing is to help them out, give them all the necessary support they need. It could be behavioral self-therapy. It could be seeing a psychologist. But try as much as possible to support them because at that moment, they might be emotionally down. Yeah, especially for women that are trying to conceive. And for the women that are trying to conceive that have experienced this several times, I just want to let you know that you are not alone in this. People are also battling with this. But you are going to come out strong. If you are having a regular cycle, you are having a regular um, measures. Your measures are quite at a particular time every month. I would advise you to keep track of your ovulation. I know you've done a lot of things. Keep track of ovulation. Track your ovulation dates. Make sure your partner is around. Have sexual intercourse on that day and see the outcome. And also speak to your partner to go for semen analysis to get their semen tested just to check the viability of their sperm. Thank you very much for staying tuned. Thank you very much for watching this video. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and also don't forget to share with a friend if you got value. For all my returning subscribers, this is Nos Mary saying thank you. Bye and see you in our next video.